Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Mike Tarallo with Click, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a custom theme within ClickSense Cloud Business. Now to get started, I already have an app created, and you can see across the title header, if I click that, it expands an app information window. And then over here to the right, if I click the app options icon, and then if I choose from the drop-down box that's marked app theme, I can choose a particular theme. Now by default, we have a couple that we installed with ClickSense Cloud. These are accessible to anyone, whether you're a ClickSense Cloud Basic or ClickSense Cloud Business User. However, ClickSense Cloud Business Users have the option of uploading and selecting their own custom themes. In this case, I have one here called Google Theme. And then by choosing that, you can see it sets the data colors to be that of the Google logo. Now let me show you how I uploaded that theme. So the process is actually very simple. As long as you're in your workspace under ClickSense Cloud Business, with administrative privileges, you can click on the settings icon, and then you'll notice that there is a new tab called Themes. And then here, there'll be a button called Add a Theme. Here, I'll click Add a Theme, and then click Choose File. And right now, it goes directly to my default location where I have my custom themes. Now, themes will be set up as compressed zip files. I'll spend a little time on that in a moment. So right here, I'm going to grab my Google theme and drop it on the target. I'll also grab my Super Mario theme and drop it here as well. And now I have both themes uploaded to my themes panel within ClickSense Cloud Business. If I wanted to delete any of these themes, I can right click and just select delete. Now, if I go back to my workspace and then I choose an app, in this case here, I'll choose my sales 2018 app. And then if I click on the settings options and I look at my drop down list, you can see I now have the Google theme and the Super Mario theme added. If I repeat the process and this time I choose a theme, Super Mario is very similar to that of Google. And there you go, that's applying the theme. So next I'm gonna talk about how to create the theme and what the minimum file structure is to create that theme. So before we go into the example, I did want to point out that we have excellent documentation within our online help. This section marked custom themes explains everything that you need to know with getting started when creating your own custom themes. Also, we have some great blogs on the Click community, specifically this one by our buddy Arturo in the demo team, basically talks about the simple structure that is needed. So for this particular example, what I'm going to do is just select getting started building a custom theme. And you can see that we require a couple of different files. You should have knowledge of JSON, which is JavaScript object notation, as well as CSS as getting style sheets. As with any example, it's always great to basically follow from an existing one and make modifications on your own. Now, the first thing you need to create is a definition file, which has the extension of QEXT. And we have a sample one right here. I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to go into my file explorer and go to my custom themes folder. And I'm going to create a new folder and we're just going to call it Mike's theme. Then in that folder, we're going to create a new text file and we're going to call it Mike's theme QEXT. And it's been noted in the documentation that the name of the file should be lowercase. Then I'm going to open it up in my favorite text editor. In this case, it's TextBad. And I'm just going to paste in the definition file. I'm going to call it Mike's theme. And we'll leave the rest default. I'll change the author. And that's all you need. Then next, we need to create another text file with the name of theme. And that's going to have the extension JSON for the JavaScript object notation file or JSON. Okay, here we talk about creating the main JSON file. I'm just going to copy this block of text. Go back into my file explorer and then edit the theme.json file and paste that there. So the structure, I'm not going to go through all of it in detail. 
However, basically you can set up definitions and variables to represent your colors and settings and then reference those variables later on within the structure. So for example here, using the at symbol green color and then defining the hex code for green color and therefore setting this variable as text and then the color for text and then referencing them here as such. So font size 12 and data color primary is green. So we're just going to leave that to keep it simple. And now I'm going to take these two files and I'm going to send it to a compressed zip folder. And now we have our QEXT and our JSON file in that zip folder. One point to note is that we talk about making sure you have a uh, properly formed JSON file. We have a online JSON validator that we reference here in the help. And what you can do is open up your JSON file, copy it, paste it in the validator, and then click validate JSON. And then you can ensure that your JSON structure is correct. And you can do that step before zipping if you wish. Okay, now that we have our compressed zip file, we're going to take this and we're going to upload it to our custom themes. So going back to the Click Cloud Hub and ClickSense Cloud Business, going to our settings, going to themes, adding the theme, choosing the file from Mike's theme. It's been uploaded. Going to our workspace and then opening up our app. Now all this is going to do is change the primary data color, in this case the single color, when it's set to auto to that color of green. So right now it's set to blue. Adding Mike's theme, now it makes it green. And these settings can be adjusted for a number of different objects that are available within ClickSense, within the chart. Subtitles, footers, data titles, etc. And you can see that within the uh, online documentation, basic object styling, styling titles, labels, chart axes, grid, reference line, legends, and then full code examples, and then extended object styling, which go into various different objects that are available in ClickSense. Okay, just to show you what the Google theme looks like, you can see there are variables set for the various Google colors, and then there's different sections here that define data colors, palettes, the different types of palettes that are available, gradients, sequential classes, divergent gradients, divergent classes, etc. So these additional settings, if I go back to the app, now we're in the Google theme, I'm going to go into edit mode, and I'm going to select the chart, and then I'm going to go to colors and legend, turn off auto, and then you can see the five color, 10 color palettes as we set up earlier. If I set by measure, you can see the different gradients and the different divergent classes. All of these are represented as you see here within the code. So this is a coding exercise. This is basically utilizing a text editor and then setting up these structures. Now before we end the video, I did want to spend some time showing you a application provided by our valued partner Bitmetric. So if you go to sensetheme.com, they have a utility here that basically builds the styles based off of those structures that I've spoken about. And then you could download the theme and then upload it. Only problem at this time is that it does not work with ClickSense Cloud Business. And it does work with ClickSense Cloud Enterprise. So I have spoken with the product team and I've also spoken with the authors at Bitmetric to understand if there's some code or some structures that are being used that either the problem sits within the utility or if it's on the ClickSense Cloud business side. So just be aware that there is a theme editor that is available from our partner Bitmetric that they're allowing you to actually use this tool to set up your colors and your font sizes and various object dimension colors and measures where you can download and include that theme. I will provide an update on the status if this is working with ClickSense Cloud Business as it comes in. Other than that, I'd like to thank you for your time. 
Check out these other great resources to learn more about Click and ClickSense. And please be sure to join the conversation with myself and others in the Click community. Take care, guys. I'll see you on the next video.